Welcome to Lesson 4, Chapter 4, um, Part 3. We're going to handle the treatment of text, um, which is another key component. Text is not native. Um, it's more for specialty, like this Hawaii, which we were going to take that layer and move it in front of that flower. Um, you would use Photoshop for text unless you were comping a website sparingly and mainly for um, things that you can't get it to do in an InDesign or Illustrator, but vector art, which InDesign and Illustrator handle most appropriately, um, as pixels are not very friendly to type and reproduction of type, um, like this type here is part of an image. Um, but if you look in very closely, you start to pixelate because uh, Photoshop is continuous tone. It's little blocks of color, little pixel squares, one pixel by one pixel. And the continuous tone is the dark and light shade. So you start getting these rasterized edges. So in this case, we're going to take Hawaii. I'm going to go on that layer and we're going to say uh, select pixels. I don't see that. So I'm going to just go ahead and use some of my handy dandy quick selection tools that I got from. And you know what else you could do here? Command D. Just go ahead and use your magic wand. And I'm hitting shift when I'm jumping between letters. Okay. Now here, they want us to do a gradient of sorts. I'm going into my gradient tool. I don't think I have this. They want to go from light to a color. So we're going to, we don't want to band. So we're going to go into there. We're going to change this color to a yellow. I'm going to get a nice golden yellow, not so hot with that other. See, okay. Is it going to work? Yep. Now I'm going to run. I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to start shading this. And it's gone from transparency to dark. The shorter I make this little line, the stronger that line is. I'm going to undo that. I just wanted to demo. If I go really long, it travels that distance with the shade and the opacity to the top. That gives you a nice smooth gradient. So I'm going to show that again. Just go a little longer. That's still a little strong there. If you went all the way, even beyond the, now we're filling it too much. You just play with that. And you can also do angles and different things. There's all these settings. Anytime you're in a tool, you always get all of these settings. And then we are going to go, we're going to stroke this. Just go down to FX. It's always easier to just grab that, the guy there. Now in this case, I'm going to take a color, grab my color picker, and grab something. I should have grabbed a color before. Sometimes it's nice to just sample. Let me cancel out. Cancel. Cancels also command period. Um, I'm going to go get my color picker and I'm going to sample a nice strong green from that grass up there. And that might be a little dark. Maybe even from the leaves. I want it to be enough of a strong difference. And now when I go in, it's in my colors here. You see it's no longer the default black and white because I selected it with the color picker. Now when I go to my FX, it's going to populate. And again, however the book tells you. Oh man, it's not there, is it? So what is this color? I'll just grab the bin hex. Okay, I'm gonna co copy this, 3E6, Command C. You could add a color picker to the um, to swatches as well. Uh, but I don't need to really use it that much. So I'll go into color, go into my bin hex. And again, however they tell you to do this, go ahead. 
Seems a little, a little much for me. I go down. Let's see, okay. So here's some specialty effects in Photoshop. Now I can go back to my move tool, move that around, place that more appropriately where I want to read it, where it's most legible, because you've got to be careful on for legibility for copy. Now I'm going to go into my text tool, which is this T crosshair, just like you have in Word. I'm going to sort of line it up with this block here. And I'm going to say, Thal's Resort Isle. And it's defaulting to Minion Pro Italic. I'm going to get something a little chunkier just for uh, purposes to show you. I'm going to go in. I'm going to change my size. I'm going to slide it and scrub it up till it's about the width of my block. Not really digging this font in comparison, to be honest now. I'm going to go back to my move tool. See how that was all selected? Because you can, in theory, select certain ones that are different sizes. And that's not the hottest for legibility. I would most likely take a much lighter color and put a shadow. And let me get that bin hex, just grab it. Go back to my type tool. Type tool is very picky pants. You need, see how I've got this little anchor point and I've got a blinking cursor. Now I'm saying command all, or you drag and select all your pieces. You want to then, now we'll say swatch. I'm not seeing it, so go, what do you do? You look out your window and say swatches. And you want, oh, I'm sorry, you can just go up there, do that, and copy and paste that. That's a little glaring too. But you get the idea. Go in there, maybe just work with the color picker. And you've got a preview. And if it's a little bit lighter, and then you pop it with a shadow, it'll be a little more legible. Now we'll go to effects. say effects. No, it doesn't want to do that. Maybe I'm in the wrong tool. Go out there. It doesn't allow you to do it. Just switch tools back to your home plate. And now you can see the directional. And you're watching it preview. Always make sure this checkbox is on. And now you see how it's popping out of that background a little bit. We're going to do an overlay to the pineapple too and sort of tone that garishness down because you've got a lot of competing things for your eye. The textures and the colors of the coconut, I mean of the pineapple. You've got this gradient, you've got the stroke, you've got all of these textures there. There is a lot going on trying to pull your eye away. So for readability and keeping things uh, the design attractive and approachable and readable. And that's uh, more in the typography um, presentation that I've spanned out for the first few weeks. Uh, very important legibility, readability. And that is pretty much covered there, so I won't run too long with this.